You take your clothes off, everybody's equal. San Diego is taking it all off. There is such a thing as modesty. We have the right to enjoy nude recreation. A nudist war in Southern California on the next A Current Affair. Tonight's at 8.30 on KUSI. Welcome back. I don't want to be overly dramatic, but it seems there is a nudist battle raging in a San Diego community. Both sides are taking off their gloves, and one side's taken off a lot more than that. Now, it may seem like this story belongs in a teacup. You know what they say about you learn something new every day? Well, today I learned, and now you're going to learn, that there is such a thing as nude whale watching. Here's our Tina Malave. Skateland, a family roller rink in Santee, California, and the battleground for a nude war. Public nudity with adults is not acceptable at any time. We believe that we have the right to enjoy nude recreation in appropriate places as long as we do not infringe upon the rights of others. All was quiet in Santee until one day the town's mayor, Randy Vopel, clicked on his computer and opened an email. The first wind I had of it was an email saying that nude roller skating is coming to town. The uh, manager of the roller rink said, well, we're having this event, and I didn't know it would be of such interest, in which case the uh, manager decided to cancel the event. The manager then called Brian Spence and broke the news to him. And I asked him why, and he said that his phone had been ringing off the hook with the city council and the mayor and a Christian activist um, giving him all sorts of threats. Brian Spence runs a company called Naturally California, which hosts nudist activities all around the San Diego area. The types of parties we've had in the past are our nude roller skating parties. We charter a boat, we go whale watching. In case you were wondering, you heard right. He said nude whale watching. Within days, Brian Spence found out that his next whale watching cruise was in jeopardy. After years of coexisting peacefully with people of clothing, thousands of nudists in the San Diego area found themselves under attack. The question was why and from whom? I finally found out that this gentleman truly did have us in his sights. The gentleman in question is James Hartline. The self-described former homosexual Christian activist sends out an email newsletter fighting things like pornography, gay marriage, and public nudity. I wrote a story up on this and I sent it out to a lot of people and immediate action was taken. By sending out his emails and making a few phone calls, James Hartline was able to spread a nude panic throughout Southern California. It's never going to be acceptable to have children completely naked at public businesses with these adults that are naked as well. Of all the claims he's made about us, I can really only say that one of them is true, and that's that we're nude. In case you're wondering, the nude whale watch went off swimmingly. Do you think this kind of stuff happens out in California because of the weather, or is it something in the water? Something to think about over the weekend. We'll be back in a moment. That's it for now. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Green. See you next time.